Hey everybody, what's up? This is Eric Cantu with Fatty's Barbecue. I wanted to show you guys real quick how I start my fires. I've been getting a lot of questions online, so I figured why not show you guys. So take a look. All right, so I like to use me some Kingsford charcoal just to start off. Now I don't use this to cook with, I just use it to start the fire. Uh, and then I usually cook with wood, uh, post oak wood. But what I do is I use the chimney starter. You gotta have yourself a good pair of heat gloves. I just use my old welding gloves that I've had forever. So, uh, and what I do is I use my bag for the paper and I just kind of cut some of this off here, right? Just like this. You turn it upside down and you just kind of ball it up. You don't ball it up super tight. You just kind of loosely crumble it and throw it in there, okay? And you try to separate it if you can. This probably didn't do that great of a job on this one here. Throw that in there. And then instead of peeling all three uh, layers, I do one layer at a time, right? So here's my outer layer. Here's the inner layer. Put that in there. And the rest of my outer layer. So this should be enough paper right here. Take a look at that. So it's not super tight, okay? It's just nice and loose. Okay, and then I flip it back over. And now, I'm gonna pour my charcoal in there and probably spill it all over the floor to see what happens. That's it, just like that. Get these extra ones, put them on top. Now, never mind me and my chanclas, guys. All right, here we go. Then, open this guy up, nice and wide. And we're just gonna bring this guy Right there, see that Bob, yeah. right? Then get yourself a couple of matches. I like to use these long ones or if I have my little uh, trigger gun, I do that also, but I couldn't find it. So anyway, just strike your matches, go right underneath here and just catch that paper on fire. In a couple of spots, can you get in here Bob? Take a look at this. See how I get in there, right? Just get in there. And just let it start burning. And that's it. Then I just stick the whole thing in there. And that's it. It's going to catch. All right, so that's pretty much it. That thing's starting to smoke. It's going to catch really good. I'm going to walk away because it smells pretty bad. Once that charcoal is nice and lit, you're going to start seeing the fire kind of coming out the top and the coals are going to be kind of white. That's when you know it's ready. You're going to use your gloves to pour it out on the grate and put some wood on top. We'll come back when it's ready to do that. All right guys, so that charcoal is ready. As you can see, the flames are already coming up off the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead, put on my welding glove. Now be careful when you do this because the ash will just go all over the place. But I come in here, grab the handle, and just carefully pour it right out. This guy I put off to the side so it doesn't burn anybody. All right, then I'm gonna get my uh, pusher here, my little tool, and I'm just gonna push all this charcoal to the side here. I'm going to make room to put that extra log. That's pretty much it right there. I'm going to put a log right on here to start it with that green stuff on me. Grab a log right on there. I'm just going to put this just to get it started. And that's it. We're going to close her up. Let that wood start to burn. All right. All right, so that's it. Just close it up. Let that wood start to burn. Um, give it about 15 minutes or so, and you're going to see it's going to get become like a good ash. Start knocking it down. Then you can start your cycle of wood on the side, putting it on top, and maintaining your temperature. Uh, if you want to go 225, you do it at 225. If you want it at 300, you're going to have to put a little bit more wood in there and open up that box a little bit more, just like that. All right, so now we're ready. That fire should be nice and hot now. Those pieces of wood that I put on earlier, they should be ready to poke down and be some nice coals and the charcoal should almost be gone by now. So now what we're gonna do is start our cycle of the wood. Remember, put a piece of wood on the left-hand side, let it dry out, and then the other uh, wood that's on top, that's what's gonna be burning. That's what's gonna be supplying the fire and heat to your pit. So let's take a look at that wood and see how it looks. That wood is caught pretty well. Put this to the side. Again, the charcoal is pretty much all going to be gone here. So I'm going to get my piece of wood, put it off to the side. That's going to dry out. 
And just try to keep the fire away from it uh, so that wood doesn't accidentally catch. That's it guys, that's how it's done. You're just gonna maintain this fire on the side. This is what's gonna be making your temp spike and go down and that's gonna be drying out the wood. Remember, when that starts going down, get that piece of wood, put it on top, put another piece of wood in there so that can dry out. And that, by doing this, as soon as you put that wood on top, it's gonna light right away and your fires will stay nice and steady throughout.